probably the first rule of filming is that you should catch your breath before you press record. I brought you out to my happy place this Friday morning for a TGIF video. So I've been walking. <laughs> So I'm inserting some footage of the swans and ducks somewhere before or after this. I hope it's not too wobbly for you. I had a late start for my walk this morning because I, well, I actually had some paperwork and things I needed to do on my computer. So I was sorting that out and one thing led to another and I have been catching up on the Father Mike Schmidt's Ascension Presents Bible in a Year podcast. It's free. It started last week and I am, as I say, I'm, ca I'm catching up, but it's a really great program. I'm blown away already and I think one of the things that's been so good about it is that Father Mike, he reads the Bible and he is, he's reading Bible passages which are clustered to follow a timeline. They have some materials available and for free online that you could uh, download a schedule for the year. And I think they're going to be posting most days. And the best thing for it for me is, second to it being free, is <laughs> his commentary. So, uh, you know, he's a smart guy and he has this great commentary. And what I really like about it is that it's from a Catholic perspective. So you may know, I don't agree with everything the Catholic Church says, and he does. He very much teaches from the catechism, from the magisterium, and, you know, and I absolutely bless him. He's brilliant at it. Uh, so I won't necessarily always follow everything the church teaches. However, I completely, 100% agree with its attitude towards the Bible and Bible study. And in that, the Bible is truth, the Bible is beauty, but it needs to be read with some historical context. It needs to be read um, knowing that some of it is metaphor, some of it's poetry, some of it is historical fact. And so it's just actually beautiful being able to listen to somebody say, yes, it's not necessary that Catholics believe that their world was created in six days because we, we can't believe that firstly because for God, time has no meaning. God is timeless. God is, has always been and always will be. And so, um, but the metaphor, the beauty of it is just gorgeous. So he's, he's blown me away with the simple words um, already in the first few podcasts. And it just feels like, feels like coming home. <laughs> feels like, uh, so I really encourage people to try it. And it only takes a few minutes of each day, or if you wait to do it once or twice a week, it could take a little bit longer, but it's, it's a really nice break uh, in the, for my Friday morning anyway. So I'm going to continue my walk. I know it's been a while since I made any videos of any kind. I haven't been well and it's, it's um, related to some my long-term health problems not anything to do with uh, illnesses running around the world right now. Um, so, but over Christmas, it's difficult to get hold of doctors and change medications and things like that. So anyway, with a bit of iron and a bit of luck, I'll be feeling better soon. And I'll be catching up with my work. I have been doing so many crafty things so much um, reading, so much meditation, so much, oh, it's just been, it's just been a blessing. And I encourage 
everybody to just take some time and do something you really love um, and bring some joy into your day. I mean, this is, this is gray. This is cold. I don't know what temperature it is, but I'm wearing my woolly mittens and all my layers. And I'll have to soon start taking some of the layers of jacket off though, because I'm getting hot. But um, yeah, do something good. Do something fun that uh, fills your heart and makes you sparkle. And check out the podcast. I'll try to put some details below of where you could find it. I think you can find it on any place you get podcasts. So I use it on Amazon Music for free. Even though I don't pay for Amazon Music, you know, just the app. But there's loads of apps out there. I'll try to find you a link to something where you could find uh, the podcast for yourself. And I'm going to head back and get the house ready for the Sabbath. Give it a bit of a tidy. I think I'll be taking down some of the some of the Christmas decorations today. Leave up some of the other wintry ones. And then... Oh, I have a gate. I don't have enough hands for a gate and a phone. Okay. There are always two-handed gates too around here. make sure the cows stay in the appropriate field okay so <laughs> so oh. <laughs> I, need, I wish i could show you can i show you this mud? <laughs> oh beautiful river and look I tell you, most years about January time, I stopped coming down to this particular part of the river. But I was just missing it so much because I stayed inside way too much lately. <laughs> so I just had to come down. <laughs> but I'm going to climb the hill to avoid some of the worst of it. Yeah. So I'm going to tidy up. Take the tree down, maybe leave up some of the other things. I'd quite like to put some lights up somewhere because I love the lights and the candles and things. Very huggly, as Diane in Denmark would say. Keep it nice and cozy. And I'm not doing any errands. I've had so much shopping and things delivered this week. We are we are restricted with a lot of our shopping, but we can go to grocery stores and we can go to chemists. We can go to, I don't know, that's kind of just about it, garden centers for some reason. But I'm trying to avoid that because I don't want to, I don't want to blow my budget on half price Christmas decorations, although it's tempting. I'm going to go back and I tend to put snacks into tins, like I get like a sort of a cake tin, stick some crisps in there and get out some biscuits and things so the kids know that those are available for the weekend, but put them front and center. And um, we have some nuts and pistachios and all sorts of exciting things. So, and this weekend, let, what, what else? Oh, I actually have to do a Zoom call for a little while on Saturday. And then I have my normal Zoom family call on Sunday. That might be just about it besides watching Mass. We are allowed to go out to church as well. To our church in particular is open. But I leave that. It's very, very limited seating. So I leave that for the people who you know, really feel they, they need to go and, and we watch from home. I'm absolutely happy with that. And it's safer all round. Because even though I don't go out much, you never know. And I think it's part of our Christian duty to take care of each other. And... Gate. And make sure that we stay as safe as we can. Really. 
So I have a few books lined up. I finished my Celtic Advent book, obviously, but a few books lined up. Get out my journal. Might reflect a bit on the podcast from today because just it's interesting about spiritual books and especially books like the Bible is that you can read them over and over and get a lot out of them. So that's my plan is to basically try to take it easy and spend some time doing that. And at some point, prepare some of my craft things for Monday and Monday's video. I know it's gray, but the way I feel when I come out here, especially in the morning, it's actually, I don't know what time it is, 10.30, 11. When I come out here, I always feel like nothing bad can happen in my day after this. It, it just fills me with joy and a peace. It's just a stark reminder that actually life is good. I know there's lots of bad things going on in the world, but if as in individuals, we can hold that in our hearts during the day, start off in the morning with that life is good and life is kind and life is beautiful, then if more and more of us do that each and every morning and hold on to it throughout the day, can you imagine? It wouldn't take long to make real lasting changes. I've done that within my own life, my own family, my own circumstances, which over the years has not been ideal. But if we live our life with intention and stop to smell the river, <laughs> whatever you can find in your own life, then you can see some amazing changes. So I wish you a good Sabbath on whichever day you choose to honor it, starting Friday afternoon, Saturday, Sunday, whatever you like. But I do encourage you to take some time apart. So I need to watch where I'm walking because it's really muddy. <laughs> and come back next week and I will talk about some of the other books and things that I've been finding and exploring. <laughs> Whoever said making a video in the mud was a good idea. Anyway, see you soon. Thanks for watching.